everyone. Welcome to this week's crystal video, another comparative channeling today. Selenite versus Satin Spar. So now this has been, you know, a bit of a, there's been a bit of fur flying over this. There's been a bit of a hullabaloo uh, because for years and years in the crystal community, uh, we have referred to this Satin Spar as Selenite and many of us still do. I have uh, shared teachings for years and years and years and years in the name of Selenite working with Satin Spar and I stand by them all. This is not fake Selenite. Uh, my understanding is these two crystals chemically are the same. It's just that uh, some people now are uh, uh, classifying Satin Spar as lower grade Selenite or Selenite as higher grade. Uh, then Satin Spar. Um, they're both in the same crystal family. Um, and they, you know, both have incredible healing and spiritual properties. And so I thought rather than, you know, kind of breaking it down and getting into it that way, I would do a comparative channeling between each uh, and let you decide. So this is Satin Spar. I'm going to work with Satin Spar first. And as I said, I have worked with this for years and years and years. I clear entities with Satin Spar. I sever cords and attachments. I do all kinds of healing work from physical through emotional, mental, spiritual uh, with this crystal and, and teach much of that in my Pro Crystal Healer program. Um, as I said, this is a very, very powerful, powerful crystal. It runs light through it like fiber optics. Um, I'm fond of saying that the only thing you can't do with selenite or satin spar is ground yourself. Um, apart from that, the applications are limitless. So I'm holding that in my receptive hand and I'm just going to quietly tune in here for a minute. Make sure we're recording. So immediately I feel like I feel that hit. I feel that hit of energy, this high frequency energy that just comes rushing, you know, up the body, up the system, really powerfully and rapidly raises your frequency. And for those of you who may be, you know, new to this work, when I say that it means it really elevates us energetically and spiritually. So it's much more possible uh, to connect with higher realms, higher gu guides, higher levels of consciousness and possibility. This is a crystal uh, that I'm teaching my students in Lightwalker uh, right now to work with in terms of accessing the Akashic Records. Um, so very, very, very powerful. And I feel even my, my voice speeding up because my, my energy um, is increasing. And this is a crystal that, you know, in a way it is, yes, it is very energizing, but energizing in a different, in a different way, meaning it lifts the spirits. It lifts us up energetically. It's also got this beautiful, uh, quality of peace, quality of serenity. I feel my Reiki going off, uh, in my opposite hand, uh, because this is a crystal too, that I teach people how to open up uh, their pranic channels or their energy channels in the body in order to be able to channel uh, energy, universal energy, energy of consciousness more freely. Um, so I feel that fully coming through. And yeah, it, you know, as I've taught for so many years, it's purifying. The energy that comes off Satin Spar is um, very vaporous. It's vaporous in its quality. So if we consider the energy of quartz, for instance, or a quartz point, you know, the energy is very directional. It's like a laser beam. It's very directional. Um, um, you know, and of course, crystals will channel energy very differently. Like tourmalines are very electric uh, in the way that they channel energy. But, but, but selenite is very, or satin spar, I'm still calling it selenite, um, but, but satin spar uh, is very vaporous, so it dissolves things, it dissolves and transmutes. So especially energy blockages, energy or psychic debris, harmful energy, you know, it, it, it's not so much that it cuts through it and, um, you know, severs it or shoots it back or mangles it in some way. It just gently envelops it in its energy um, um, and transmutes it, transmutes it into higher light 
frequencies that are far less dense and heavy. Um, you know, as I've taught about it previously, it's also very good for, you know, a, a, a respiratory health in terms of helping with any energy blockage that's contributing to or exacerbating or being formed as um, a result of uh, respiratory health. A lot of people have reported how this helps soothe uh, coughs, it helps soothe feelings of heaviness in the chest or even on the heart chakra in terms of emotional healing. Um, so, so that's that's the energy of of, of satin spar, and I feel I feel my my you know I feel my energy rising. I feel my crown chakra expanding. You know, I feel those light channels opening in terms of possibility of going up. Uh, into into higher realms um, and I will say you know there's while there is a sort of a rapidness there is definitely a rapidness to its energy there's also a gentleness there's a benevolence you can feel in its energy in its frequency this higher level of consciousness that has kindness that has compassion that has Again, benevolence, that's the word that really comes through. There's a divine intelligence here as I connect with it. And so uh, that's where that's where I'm going to leave off. If you want more information on, on Satin Spar, you can look at my, my old video. I think it's from a couple of years ago, a few years ago, how to work with selenite, because I'm still calling it selenite. So there you go. Okay, so now we're moving on to the clear baby. And we, you know, you can definitely see a difference physically. Um, uh, the clarity of this versus this is, you know, translucent, uh, uh, not definitely not transparent, but not opaque either. You can see the light coming through. Uh, but now I'm shifting to the selenite, the pure, I guess the pure selenite or the, the higher grade uh, selenite, if you will. Uh, but let's, you know, I, again, you know, I say that and I feel like, you know, there's frequencies of elitism in that, that I, I just, I feel like systemically we're so done with that. Um, um, so let's just say that the, the pure transparent selenite um, and, and stay within kind of that cushioned verbiage, if you will. Okay, so now, so this is interesting. Uh, this is interesting. So immediately what I feel, again, there's that rapid influx of energy, but I would say, you know, as I described Satin Spar as being more vaporous, this feels stronger. This feels more direct. Um, it, it does feel, it definitely feels like a channel. So again, it doesn't feel like that laser, you know, that pointed directional laser energy that you get um, from a quartz or, or lines of energy coming through your nervous system the way you feel it with tourmalines. Um, but with this, this is this is a well-defined, clear channel that's just opened up. It just came right into my body, up through the heart, and up through the top of my head. And I would say, I would say that I feel like um, this energy is stronger. Um, it's more well-defined. It feels more purposeful. Um, I'm definitely feeling that frequency rising. And I would say again, this is happening um, a bit more quickly. It's happening a bit more firmly. Uh, for some of you, that may cause feelings of anxiety, you know, and so you can either breathe through it and let it pass, or you can put, you know, the selenite down and ground yourself because maybe it's just too much, um, too much of a quantum shift, I guess, energetically, uh, uh, and you're still uh, becoming accustomed to it. So yeah, I feel it stronger. It's interesting because I also feel really powerful energy channels opening up behind the eyes and in the third eye. And I feel, again, just like a really well formed channel moving up this way and it's definitely full of light um the energy that i would describe when i i, I see sort of the energy frequencies of a uh, satin spar i would definitely uh, uh refer to that as more of like a or uh, qualify that I, I guess is or describe it there's the word uh as more of a white light this almost feels like golden golden sparkle and there was something slightly I'd say softer or more um, feminine, really. Uh, I, I find in most cases that crystals are gender neutral, you know, in, in the way that we have that duality in, in humanity. Um, um, but, but, but this feels, the selenite feels more divine masculine. It feels more divine masculine. And what it's telling me is that it's particularly beneficial. Oh, I'm getting creepy crawlies all over the head. Uh, that's the crown expanding, but that's also the selenite talking to me. 
Um, it's particularly beneficial for connection with uh, ascended masters, connection with higher teachers. Um, it's saying that more of us uh, right now are really seeking out those higher spiritual teachers, those higher spiritual divine guides and divinely appointed guides that can help us, that can be of service to us at this time, that can provide us teachings that are evolutionary. And so it's saying that's part of the reason why um, it's come into this conversation the way it has, not so much to like poo-poo one crystal over the other, uh, which unfortunately I've been seeing that happening in the community. And it's like, come on guys, look at the world we're in. Do we really need to create more content? Controversy? Do we really need to create more drama? Do we really need to create um, a more controversial uh, uh, or confrontation, you know, and, 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 and uh, polarization? And I guess maybe some of you do. You need that outlet. Perhaps you can consider developing some healthier outlets because what it's saying is part of the reason why it's, it's come into the conversation this way at this time is to help people who are seeking to establish that hookup. With Satin Spar, you can definitely, definitely open up those channels as well. But Satin Spar responds more to direction. It responds more to intention in terms of where you want to go. This feels far more specific. The other thing, and let me just tune into my body here because I want to make sure I've, I've got this right. Mm. I feel, you know, I kind of feel like that butterfly sort of roller coaster effect um, in my core, but I don't, I feel um, really kind of almost hyper alert, whereas Satin Spar gives you more of that groovy, that kind of spacey sort of serene energy. This energy definitely feels, it feels more, it's almost like more condensing, more condensing, more centering, um, um, and, and definitely more directional, more specific. Again, what I'm seeing right away is I'm seeing connection to Ascended Master Realm. I'm seeing connection to uh, higher teachings and higher dimensional beings. Um, this just wants to go that way right away. And so let me tune in and let's just have like a conversation with its, its consciousness in terms of, you know, energy purification, in terms of healing application, what it has to share. So it's saying for energy uh, purification, yes, it works well. Yes, it still works well um, um, in terms of helping to clear and purify energy. But it's saying, again, it, it works a bit differently from the satin spar just in terms of its directionality. With, with this, in terms of energy clearing, you have to place it... Uh, specifically on areas where there are blockage or hold it in areas where there is blockage in uh, uh, the aura. And I do see the energy again sort of dimensionally or not dimensionally, directionally expanding uh, uh, through the auric field, you know, through the Taurus. Um, I'm not seeing that same kind of, um, you know, vaporous action you have with the selenite or the satin spar where you can pass, you know, the stick through and clear, uh, uh, clear and cut and sever cords and, and do a, a lot of the workings that I teach with it in that way. So this is more specific in terms of placing it where it needs to be so the energy can directionally go to where it goes. So it says it's pro, you know, there's pros and cons. Um, with either formation in terms of that application, in terms of that function. Um, you know, it definitely helps to clear uh, pathways. It definitely helps to clear pathways through the body um, energetically. It also really helps with the mind in terms of expanding the mind and clearing uh, uh, built up energy or static or debris in the mind. And so it's, it's saying it's especially good for purifying and transmuting uh, a lot of heavy energy that we have from uh, EMF frequencies, from over worrying, from over tech, you know, from too much tech, too much exposure to tech. So I'm seeing that as being an, uh, a beneficial application as well. So what I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to do is I'm thinking, first of all, I need to like lasso my puppy who's been fun during this channeling. Uh, he's responding to the energy. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to wrap up here in terms of this comparative 
uh, uh, this comparative channeling, channeling analysis, if you will, today. And I think what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll do a specific channeling with this, this, um, uh, this piece of selenite here and get just a little more deep into its medicine and its applications in another video. So stay tuned for that. Keep watching that. Uh, but I hope that this helped to add um, I guess some positive conversation to the selenite satin spar debate. As I said, I both think that they're marvelous crystals and I will continue to use this um, in the ways that I teach uh, probably until the day I die. And um, yes, so thank you so much for watching. For those of you who are interested, uh, my Pro Crystal Healer Crystal Therapy Training, professional level crystal therapy training is opening up in June. For those of you who have been waiting, uh, that's good news for you. If you want more information on that, you can go to my website. Uh, the link is in my description or profile. Uh, and for those of you who are watching on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, I look forward to sharing more with all of you guys soon and you if you have any uh, questions or anything you'd like to share uh, please keep it in uh, please put it in the comments um, and please keep it empowering so that we can all share as a wonderful empowered uh, community here thank you so much blessings